we have a student from the University of Tampa who asked the question, why is it, and I'm obviously we're assuming he's right by posing the question, or he is, uh, why is it that you receive more donations from military members than any other candidate? Is that true, first of all? Uh, that is absolutely true. And uh, I did mention it in the talk. I said that um, I got, uh, I think I did, <laughs> uh, I got twice, we don't know about this quarter, but uh, up, uh, so far, I've gotten twice as much, more than twice as much money from active military duty than uh, all the other Republican candidates put together. So that should be a message. Also, more than Obama got, and he's the commander in chief. Uh, so, but it tells me one thing. The young people, the military people, they're sick and tired of the war. They want to come home. That's the message I'm governing. Every single day, those numbers are growing of, uh, of the fruitlessness of this war. And it is up to us, the people, to look at this as a moral issue and a constitutional issue. If we looked at this as a moral issue, a monetary issue, and a constitutional issue, we wouldn't have lost one soldier over there. And it's just endless. It's on and on and on. Uh, and it's because we break the rules. If we were more restrained, matter of fact, before we went into Iraq, I'm on international relations, I made them vote on a declaration of war. I said, I'm not going to vote for this, but if you want to go to war, you go to war and vote for it. Be up front. Oh, no, we don't want to do this. We want to just give the president the authority and make up his own mind. And that, of course, is the example of uh, the loss of the republic and delivering what the, one of the reasons we fought our revolution, why the founders explicitly said the president can't go to war this way. And look at where we've been. Look at where we've been. I was in the military for five years in the, during, during the 1960s. And uh, that war wasn't declared. Korea wasn't declared. We don't even care about national sovereignty. We go to war under the UN banner and NATO, and now the president doesn't even tell us. He goes and starts another war in Libya, and he doesn't even mention it to us, and we have to dig it out. And what is so, so discouraging is the lackadaisical attitude about the people. But that is what I'm hoping to change, and quite frankly, I think we are changing that. I think there are some polls that show now that a definite majority of the American people say enough is enough, it's time to come home.